North Carolina's home for real arts, real lineage, real training. I'm Jason here at RMAA. And this week, instead of an email response, I have a request. Please stop sending me your resumes. At least once a week, I get somebody either emailing me or calling me, uh, wanting to tell me about their martial arts background. Um, these people have no interest in class. Uh, they don't even want to talk martial arts. All they want to do is tell somebody how great they are. Unfortunately, due to the nature of my business being in the service sector, it's like I'm a captive audience and, you know, I have to kind of listen to them to be polite and, you know, for the business aspect. But truly, uh, I have no interest. If you don't want to take class or you don't want to talk martial arts, don't send me that crap. I get guys from the same background that study the same art. Sometimes they contact me and I think, oh, possibly they want to get a coffee and talk shop or something. Usually not. Usually what they're doing is checking you out to see um, whose credentials are best. So they don't want to open up shop uh, you know, with a weaker background or a weaker lineage than what you have. Really all they're trying to do is tell you how great they are. I had one kid show up one time. And he was bragging to me about how he was so-and-so's like closed door, private disciple, whatever the hell that crap means. Uh, he supposedly studied JKD uh, for years or something. Um, he came here and actually sent me an email saying he wanted to show up and test my salt out, you know, so I was a little surprised. I expected this guy to show up and, you know, be off the handle, be some kind of badass or something. This kid didn't know shit. He didn't know what we were doing all night in class. I felt bad for him. I was like embarrassed for him. Um, in the end, I, I had half a mind to tell him he should go back to instructor so-and-so and ask for his damn money back. But, you know, I don't want to be mean. Another time I had a guy call me. He's telling me he's got like 24 years martial arts experience. He wanted to come over and check out one of the arts I was teaching. Came over, he tried the class, and he's sitting there telling me, he's like, well, you're not really as good as what I had hoped. So, um, you know, if you let me take these three arts, at a discount, I might come to you. And I'm sitting there thinking, I'm not that good of an instructor, but yet now you want to take three arts from me. You know, go figure. This guy also uh, went on to tell me he runs a school or he's running a school with somebody uh, with his 24 years of martial arts experience. He couldn't even remember a simple three beat pattern that we were working on. But he let me know when he left that if I wanted, I could come to a school and teach for free. And I was thinking, uh, you know, gee whiz, thanks for being so gracious there, buddy. <clears throat> I had another guy contact me. He's supposed to be a JKD instructor or something like that. Uh, he said he wanted to come by and check out class. I guess he was getting ready to start his own class up, you know, and just wanted to uh, meet up, whatever the hell he wanted to do. But anyways, this guy showed up. He didn't know shit. Um, when he left, I looked at his website and he actually said he's been teaching himself Jeet Kune Do for the last five years. Um, <clears throat> never had any formal training or anything like that. You know, this is the kind of people you get emailing you. Um, you just, just can't believe some of the stuff you get sometimes. It's typical to get guys that train in other arts that they want to come by and check you out and see what you got going on. Got an email from this one guy bragging about how long you've been doing martial arts and um, he's like some top honcho at some guy's school. So he's telling me um, him and some of the students are getting tired there and so they want to go on and move on to something else. So they elected him because he's so great to come by and check me out. So the guy came over here, didn't even train at all. He just sat here all night um, telling me how great he was. He even told me crap like um, that the students at the other school when the instructor would teach them something and leave, those students would turn to him and say, can you teach us how to do it the right way? Because I guess he knows more than what the instructor does there. Um, you know, it's funny when the guy left, I even gave him his money back and he asked me why. And I said, I just didn't feel right taking it. He didn't even get the slight. If people aren't sending me emails, just tell me about how great they are. Often what I get is guys tell me that they, you know, they run their own schools and because they run their own schools, they should be able to come here and train for free. I've had people tell me that, um, if they show up to class, they're not going to work out with anybody but me. And I always send them, uh, you know, an email saying, no way in hell, you're not that good. We'll see, you know, when you come here, uh, you can work out with the regular people. These people often, more than not, they never show up. They're looking for like a freebie class because they think they know something. <clears throat> and sometimes I get people, you know, that they train for like two years and they're bragging about how great they are. Uh, and, you know, here they're talking to somebody that's been studying martial arts like close to 35 years. 
It's like, uh, you know, just save your breath, get for real. I'm sure at this point in time in the video, I probably seem like some cynical ass bastard, but for real, um, we're not here to validate your insecurities about your self-worth. Um, when I get these emails, um, so far to date, one guy, one guy's claims have been true, and that was actually kind of refreshing to meet somebody that was sincere and actually uh, being truthful about their experience. Usually when I get these emails, what I do is I just divide the number of years by five and that tells me like where you really stand. No offense and sorry to be the one to uh, burst your bubble, but it doesn't matter um, how long you've been training or who you trained with. If you're not contacting us about wanting to work out or at least want to discuss working out or martial arts in general, don't bother sending us your resume because we're really not interested. In closing, I'm gonna offer you a little advice. If you're interested in uh, someone's class or trying someone's class, just show up, don't say anything, try it out if you like it. Stay if you don't like it, move on and check something else out. Just don't embarrass yourself by tooting your own horn as if you're a somebody when you're showing up to uh, somebody's place. Now remember, you contacted us, so now ask yourself why. Take care and we'll see you next week.